Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Review once again the anatomy in the area that we've been discussing. Posterior digastric muscle with its associated stylohyoid muscle. It has been cut at its tendon at the hyoid bone, and now we can reflect it for greater visualization in this area. The internal jugular vein masking most of the structures of the carotid sheath. The common carotid artery coming up from below, bifurcating into the anterior external carotid and the larger internal carotid posteriorly. And looking at the branches of the external carotid artery then, we see that the first branch is going to the thyroid area and is called the superior thyroid artery. The second branch is the lingual artery. And the lingual artery is found immediately above the greater horn of the hyoid bone, which we see here. And so immediately above that is the lingual artery. Sometimes, as in this case, it arises from a common stem with the facial artery that is now crossing the submandibular gland and going up onto the face. Again, the three branches, superior thyroid, lingual artery, and the facial artery. From that point on, the external carotid passes upward through the parotid gland. It terminates by dividing into the maxillary artery that runs deep to the ramus of the mandible, and its upward continuation that has been cut and that I'm holding in the forceps, the superficial temporal artery. In addition, there will be muscular arteries coming off of the external carotid to the sternocleidomastoid muscle, as an example. Ascending pharyngeal artery arises from the back of the external carotid to pass upward and to supply deep structures in the pharyngeal region. Again, the nerves in the area, the hypoglossal nerve crossing and arching around the area of the bifurcation of the carotid, the vagus nerve behind the internal carotid artery, passing upward again into this the retrostyloid space, the accessory nerve going to the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles, as well as deep within along the posterior margin of the stylopharyngeal muscle, the ninth cranial nerve, glossopharyngeal. Review these structures then and continue this work in order to visualize all the branchings, summarize the innervation, and summarize the blood supply that these various structures uh, are innervating and also those which are, that they are supplying. Arteries should be looked at in terms of units of area. In other words, lingual artery to the tongue. Does it have branches? If it does, know where each of its branches go. And the same thing is true with the nerve supply. Hypoglossal nerve to the tongue muscles. Then you should know which tongue muscles they are that is being supplied. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.